Welcome back to Onshape. We'll be continuing activity 1.3.4, and this time we'll be adding patterns. Let's start with the pentagon. We're going to move over to this one using the control and right click to pan, or you could use your scroll wheel. We need to create a pattern where it will rotate around the center point. In order to do that, we're going to use the center, the center pattern tool, or a circular pattern. We'll select the pattern, and what we're first going to do is select each side that we want to rotate. You'll notice as I select it, it begins to repeat this pattern. I see here 3x, that means three times, so I've selected five sides for three rotations. But I want this to be five, so I'll double click on it, type in five, and press enter. Now I have my five patterns, and I'll click left click to confirm. Let's go up to the hexagon now. We'll pan over to the hexagon, and this one's going to be a little bit different. From here, what we'll do is we'll move the pattern inward and down, but we won't be able to use the circular pattern for this. Next, let's come to the hexagon. We'll zoom in on the hexagon, and we're going to choose the linear pattern tool. Linear pattern tool is just above the circular pattern tool. I'm going to select each side and only the sides that I want to repeat. I'm going to zoom out with the linear pattern tool, and I should see that I've repeated it three times, so I don't want to move this the other direction, so I'll grab the arrow. I'm going to spread it over here. From here, I'm going to click to confirm. You'll notice a construction line has appeared. This construction line will cause us problems, so we're going to right-click on it and delete entity. Next, I'm going to create another linear pattern, this time just using this shape and this shape. So I'm going to grab each line again. This time, grabbing this one as well. Now, just like before, we see our shapes have populated over here. But this isn't where I want it. So instead, I want to double click here, and instead of repeating three times, I want to tell it to repeat once, which will do away with those. But if I look up, I'll see that I also have an option to repeat vertically. I'll double click and select two. Now I can move down and place those directly beneath. From here, I'll left click to confirm and click again to finish. I now have my five forms. We're almost done. We're going to now use the linear pattern tool on the triangle. We'll choose the linear pattern tool and select our sides just like before. And again, we'll move them over. In this case, we only have three sides, but what we want is seven. So we'll double click, type in seven, and enter. Now if I were to move this side to side, it will only move in that direction, and moving up and down will only add additional ones in, and that's not what we want. So from here, we'll again change this to 1. What we want to do is to grab the base of this triangle. We'll move these until they all line up correctly. We can now move these in the direction we want. And we'll left click, and again to confirm. We've completed the sketch portion of this. In our next lesson, we'll look at how to extrude it.